So in this video, uh, we are going to configure Jenkins to deploy uh, our code into a server. So this is the the general flow. So this is us, the actor, which is the, should be the developer. Okay. Let me change the name, dev, okay, and delete this guy. A dev will uh, make commit to the repository. This is uh, git, and then Jenkins will will pull um, pull the changes or push over webhook at uh, some configuration in Jenkins you can do. So Jenkins will uh, listen to commit changes and then uh, view and push an image to uh, a Docker repository which I'm using Nexus uh, OSS here which is free and open source. And then after the image is pushed then uh, Jenkins will uh, connect to this server this is an ubuntu server and deploy uh, the service using the newly created image so uh, yeah that is the the flow of this video we are going to build the api first and then we will build the uh, view and deploy the front end the angular app uh, in the next video so this is the Nexus uh, repository I created here, and I created I created a, a Docker repository here, and I have all my uh, deployments here already. So yeah, if you want to learn how to uh, create this repository, that would be another video. So. In uh, this video, we are not uh, talking about uh, setting up uh, Nexus or Jenkins. I assume that you have a Docker repository ready, either that is ECS on AWS or a Docker Hub private repository. That is your choice. And also, we have Jenkins uh, up and running. If you, uh, I'm going to make uh, a video about setting up Jenkins but now we uh, must have Jenkins ready so I this is my Jenkins instance okay so uh, all my views are here so go back to our project this is the API and in the root of uh, the project uh, I'm going to have this Jenkins file let me walk you through the quick configuration of this file so we have uh, yeah we configure jdk 17 this is done inside jenkins and maven and the deployment command is that uh, this will log into a server here this is my server and we uh, echo this this environment variable so where will we use this uh, variable i will show you uh, later in the video and uh, this is to the the git commit so this also the image uh, image version so uh, yeah and then we use docker compose to uh, have this file this is the file on the server so we have the deployment, uh, this big wallet API YAML exists on the remote server, which is uh, this one. So this is the full path to this uh, wallet API uh, YAML, uh, Docker Compose file. And we, uh, we use an Asian uh, Java home, this is for Maven. And we have, uh, of course, Maven test. Then also use Maven uh, view image plugin to view the Spring Boot image. So there's nothing exciting here. We will use this is the Docker registry. So if you use Docker Hub, then that would be uh, I remember that is registry one dot Docker dot com for example. And this is the image name. Image name will be created automatic automatically. 
in the case of Nexus. And then uh, this is the image tag, uh, which is the git commit. So this git commit is actually the equal to this one. Then this uh, this Docker compose file will pick up the the commit and pick the right uh, image to deploy. So after Maven view image, then uh, we need to push to the Docker Hub, Docker repository, which uh, we will use uh, this one with registry. This is configure in Jenkins and the credential uh, also created in Jenkins. And also we push this image exactly uh, using the tag we commit here and push. And after that, uh, the stage update deployment that we will uh, this is just uh, to echo the the command and then uh, using the SSS agent uh, with uh, this uh, credentials also configure in Jenkins and then uh, run the de deploy command here so this is the de deploy command and before configuring a job in Jenkins let's check uh, our server to see uh, what we have over there. So this is the server. So as I mentioned, this is the path data at the project Biki's wallet. So that is the path here. So you need to make sure if you are using the same uh, same uh, strategy, then you need to update this to your server. And we have an environment file here, which is not available now. But this will be created by the uh, Jenkins agent here. It will be logged in over SSH. And then this is the wallet API. Okay. So which is this file? Oh, actually I need to update the name. So this is let's uh, MV. MV because API and wallet API uh, YAML. So to match the name, or it will complain and the view will fail. So what is the content of this? Key wallet API, and then you see that uh, we have the container name, uh, which is not very important, but the image is here pointing to the my docker re uh, registry and this is the image name make sure this match match with the view uh, down below here so you see that we view this image name yeah exactly and then this is the picky uh, api version which is the one we set here so there is another mismatch so let's copy this and uh, key wallet. So make sure this uh, this environment match. Sorry, environment uh, very match or it will not. Uh, what is that wallet API? Okay, API version exactly. So this will be the uh, git commit because we write this uh, to the environment file. And also this uh, API environment is everything um, including MongoDB and S3 like we have in the case of uh, our local environment if you remember from developing the API. So let me cut the API environment. So MongoDB is here. This is the MongoDB instance we will be create, uh, will create, okay. And this is the bucket details, okay. So that's it. That is the the backend. So uh, let's quickly create the env file. So uh, touch env and. Uh, let the uh, Jenkins agent own this file because uh, otherwise it cannot update. So 
Jenkins, Asian, Jenkins, Asian, and ENV. Okay, we need Shuro for this. So just one moment. And it's done. Okay. So, uh, last thing, I'm going to uh, create a MongoDB. So this is Mongo, MongoDB YAML. So uh, this is also local compose file. So we have container name. This is very important. This, this is, uh, will be used in the environment file of the API. So it will use this to connect since they are on the same network and they can connect with other using the container name here. So I also have the mount volume here to mount the data to MongoDB. And this is the environment file containing all the uh, details here. And make sure you don't map uh, the port out because that would be a security risk. And since this one, MongoDB and the API uh, are on the same network, then they can connect to each other uh, over the, the port. Not really with each other, but the API can connect to the to MongoDB using its uh, native port uh, 27017, I guess. Anyways, uh, we have uh, the MongoDB ready, so let's uh, up Docker no Compose Mongo YAML up, and that should be okay. Now, to make sure, we will build the lock, and it seems uh, everything is okay. So we have Mongo ready, and let's start creating the Jenkins pipeline. So we uh, go to new item here, and this is picky wallet API view, and I'm going to use the pipeline option here. And pick is view API, okay, and that is the GitHub project. Copy the URL here, and go down here, check this box. Uh, yeah. And the pipeline script would be the Jenkins file in our project here. So, yeah. From SCM. SCM would be git. And we are going to copy the URL. Uh, make sure you get the HTTP uh, version. Put it here. And credential, this is the one I configure already. So you need to configure this in your Jenkins. And this would be main, right? And that's it. That uh, everything is ready. And before, before trying to commit a view, let's go to settings of my repository for the webhook. Make sure I have a Jenkins webhook here. If you don't have, just click on add webhook. But this is the, this is the Jenkins host and you add GitHub webhook here. Application JSON, just the push event, okay. And uh, update webhook. Okay, so that's one thing. There's uh, this problem uh, has cost me like a few hours. So before you can really uh, trigger automatically from a push, you need at least uh, a view. So I click on view now. Okay, so the view is uh, is running. So it is running Maven test. You can go to the log to actually view the log. So the console upload is here, so the view is successful. And now see if it can uh, push this to the Docker Hub. So go back to the view. Go to console output here. And you see that the Maven uh, image view is running. 
so it will take a while and actually this is uh, the push okay so it is pushing uh, image to the wallet api uh, to the docker to the docker repository And that's it. This is the SSH uh, login to update the API version. And uh, surely it is pulling. This is on the server. So we have uh, come quite far. So actually it's done. Okay. Wow. And the build successful on the first try. That is rare. Yeah. So we have uh, go back to. Uh, view and we see that everything is green okay guys so we have the first mono view ready so let's now test the um, automatic view if it is working so I'll go back to my application here let's try to add some commit so this is just uh, I just remove a few blank lines so Yes, the automatic to build, right? And push. I'll go back if we can see a new build is running. Hopefully, uh, there is a new build. Maybe we need to reload the page. And you see that, guys, the build is automatically triggered. It is not automatic automatically display but you can see that the view is running uh, beautifully so we have successfully configured the view uh, when uh, a commit is, is pushed to main so yeah but if we push on another branch that the view would not uh, be running so uh, it should be the expected uh, expected configuration behavior in uh, in our projects so the view is quite uh, fast because uh, now let's let's go to my server and see uh, when this is done then we can see that uh, okay the view is done ps and up here you see this is right it is running 10 seconds ago and let's see the lock so docker blocks f and you see that a normal spring boot application is up and running so that is guys this is uh how you can configure a jenkins build in the next video we are going to build the pipeline for the front end application i see you very soon